When was the last time you were really tired? So tired that if you didn't sit down immediately and get something to drink, you might just fall over. And would you ever think that Jesus progressed to that level of weariness? I mean, after all, he is the God man. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. John chapter 4, verses 5 and 6 say, So he, Jesus, came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph, and Jacob's well was there. So Jesus, wearied as he was from his journey, was sitting beside the well, and it was about the sixth hour. Jesus being weary presents us with the precious doctrine of the faith known as the hypostatic union, which is the combining of two natures in one man. Jesus was fully God and fully man. So what does it mean for Jesus to be fully man? Well, it means that Jesus had a human body, a human mind, human emotions. His body was limited. He got tired, as we see in this text, thirsty, hungry, sleepy. He grew in wisdom and stature. He rejoiced. He wept. He got angry. He even underwent temptation to sin, but he was sinless. If Jesus were not fully human, then he could not fully identify with man and be a perfect sacrifice. Jesus would not be able to relate to you as a human, but he is human and he can relate to us. But what makes Jesus different from us is his perfection under the pressure of temptation. So consider the temptation in the desert as a replay of the Garden of Eden, but in a sin-devastated world. Adam and Eve had communion with God and each other in the garden, but Jesus was alone in the desert. Adam and Eve had the choicest fruits to nourish themselves with. Jesus had been fasting for 40 days and was near exhaustion. So the conditions were drastically different between Adam and Jesus. Yet Jesus resisted the temptation completely as a man. When Jesus was tempted in the garden, the temptation was to abandon the strenuous path of obedience, of suffering, and of trust in God, and to utilize his godness in a way that went against his Father's will. Satan tempted him to turn stone into bread. Well, obviously, since Jesus is fully God, he had the ability to do that. And he was near exhaustion, so he intensified the temptation. But Jesus had come to be a greater and better Adam to obey God perfectly in our place and to do so as a human. This meant he obeyed in his human strength, led by the Spirit, just like we are called to do. And this has incredible implications for us. First, Jesus knows what it is to be human, to walk the difficult, narrow path of obedience and suffering and temptation. In fact, he knows it better than we do because he resisted temptation until the temptation left. We oftentimes give in to the temptation. Second, since Jesus knows how to resist temptation perfectly, and since the Spirit of Christ lives within us, we too can resist temptation in the power and strength of Christ. And we pray that you do that day by day. When you pray today, Please remember Don Newsom and his family are missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Farsi Life Word broadcast that's heard in Afghanistan, Armenia, Iran, Turkey, and Turkmenistan.